Hi, uh, my name is Jennifer, also known as Jen Des Journey. I I upload videos every Sundays, and and sometimes depends on the topic. Um, let's say I want to talk about um, something that's going on on the mainstream. I would upload a video in the midweek, but mostly it's going to be on Sundays. And today I would like to um, discuss my Christian Louis Vuitton uh, collection. <laughs> it's not many of them. It's only four pair of shoes. I don't like to stick with one particular brand. I like to explore different brands, but those are the pieces or rather the shoes I wanted from Louboutin and I thought I did an amazing job choosing. I also wanted um, a Bianca. I don't have it um, but uh, that 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 was definitely something I wanted to buy but by far um, I only have four and I'm excited because this is a bigger uh, as big a collection as I needed um, from Christian Louboutin. So as you know, Christian, as you know, Christian Louboutin um, are extremely—they're not extremely uncomfortable, but depends on the heel size and how much you could wear a pair of heels. You will find yourself um, regretting buying a red bottom pair of shoes. Um, so for the first one, since I have it on top it is Pigal Foley's these are Pigal Foley's and I got all those shoes from um, Trade Z and um, they were not pricey or expensive um, as much as they would in the reg on a regular re website um, and I bought them when doing the pandemic like when the pandemic was has started and with the Pigal Foley's um, the the heel is much thinner than the Pigals. And this is a hundred millimeter and um, it is more comfortable. The leather, it's kid leather. I love those shoes so much and I feel like um, they're amazing to walk with. Um, they don't hurt. I got these in a size 41 for some reason these were a little bit too big for me whereas the other pairs when I, I got them they were size 11 as well um, and they fit perfectly so um, I don't know if it's because of the kid leather that made them feel as though um, they were too big so what I did I went on Amazon and I put in I just purchased this um, this insert and I put them on here and I was fine like I was totally fine it's extremely comfortable surprisingly um, I literally contradicted myself by saying um, it, it wasn't a comf it was it, it's uncomfortable but then I'm saying it they are comfortable but these uh, 100 millimeters they are comfortable um, Pigal Foley's and the kid leather ugh, freaking amazing um, and I've worn them before uh, and the when I purchased them on when I purchased them on Trade C they were they, they had already um, fixed the sole like a little bit and this person had worn them once and she fixed the sole I was like totally let's get it it was about 300 or something 390 or something like that I love these so so much and I figured like let's say there's um, a funeral not that I'm hoping anyone to die but can you imagine this is these are subtle subtle um, and they're not bringing too much attention to you even though they're red bottoms so I think um, everyone deserve like a leather like this on um, in their closet so that um, for any occasion the office a funeral um, an outing um, casual like you could even wear this casual uh, casually because of the leather and how short the heel is it doesn't bring too much attention if you're about that life and these are them so beautiful I love them so much look how gorgeous they are oh jeez, I love these shoes love them oh, love them um, and the next pair we're going to discuss is 
the Pigalle 120 patent cow. So, taking this out. And taking this one out. So, with this one, the first one I didn't get a box, given that I purchased them on, on, on Chatesy, they didn't send me a box. With this one, I was able to get not only the box, the dust bag, one dust bag, and um, the little pouch that has like extra excess um, uh, for for your heel. Like, let's say your heel is broken or anything, or you run them out you worn them out so much that they all worn out um you could um take them to a shoe cobbler and go ahead and, and you would put these little um bottoms for your heel to protect them but i thought that was really neat and i got a box for 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 them they're patent leather um there are 120 millimeters i love these so much i got them on a size in a size 10 and a half i when i first got them they were painful i wear size 41 um uh, you, you well you is sizing for me um is size is a size 10 but italian sizing is actually 41 so when i got them and i said okay you know what um since the first one was a little too big let me size down a bit patent letter bad idea they were extremely painful extremely painful so that was a no-no. I what I did, I put on some socks. I put on some socks um and I grabbed my blow dryer and I put them on and I blow dried the heck out of them toe by toe, foot by foot <laughs> until and then walk around. Every time I blow dry them, I would walk around with them um until um like I would do it for about a week. I did it for about a week and um continue to put them on and then after that I would put um I'll tell you I'll put vapor rub. I would put vapor rub all over my feet because it numbs your feet from the pain. <laughs> um so I wore these and they were perfect. Like they were fine like at this point i feel like they're a little too loose or too comfortable they're comfortable they're not loose they're still not loose but they are extremely comfortable compared to when i got them previously they were extremely tight and i said oh man like i don't want to bring those back i don't want to like you know bring them back um or uh, send them back because i really love them and they are the pigals by the way not pigal foley's and you could tell the difference between the pigals like how thick those heels are the, the heel the heels are whereas the pigal foley's the heel is a little sexier but they're thinner um and i really love this i love the arch i love i love this pair and i know it's a classic and i love it so so much and of course i had to have them they're so beautiful and these have not been worn they probably tried them at home but they were never worn and i haven't worn them either so um i love tradesy and they never fail when it comes to uh luxury items or designer items and i love these shoes from them um, the next pair are those I don't know which these are those. these are the so Kate's 120 millimeters these are just these are the so Kate's again they gave you they gave me a box um, one dust no two dust bags I believe right no 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 Tritzy, either one or two dust bags, but they definitely gave me a dust bag again with the little um, extra heel tip, just in case it you know you you overworn your shoes and it needs to change. But these are the silkades and they are suede. My favorite. Look at this red against the suede right here. They are black, by the way. If you see them as brown, they are black, and they are gorgeous look at this look how beautiful this is and when i saw them online they are a size 11 by the way 
this fits with like it fits really good um the only problem is because the heels are so thin <laughs> the heels are so thin um it's kind of difficult to walk with so I found a way to walk with them and feeling comfortable um, for a while and of course you could always put vapor rub what I did I bought these inserts from Amazon and they are for your these inserts if you like these guys I bought them from Amazon and I inserted it in here like if you're able to see let's see like right there these are the inserts and I put them in um, so that I can get extra support best idea ever these feel amazing amazing oh my gosh I, I don't think anyone could say so Kate's feel amazing but they do and as you can see this is how they look and there's like a more of an arch um, on this on this particular uh, shoe whereas the pigafolis and the pigals are like a little more comfortable and this guy it's it's as if you're walking on your tippy toe you kind of are because uh, it's 120 millimeters and the heel is not enough support but they are beautiful and so sexy they make your feet feel so sexy oh my gosh oh my gosh you would feel all types of beautiful in these shoes. That's how they make you feel. And um, I'm so grateful that I purchased them. And I needed these pairs, these this pair in my closet. And of course, I had to have them. And I did. I got them. <laughs> um, the next, oh, and last pair are these. What do you call them? Pigal Foley's 100 millimeter um, patent leather, but they are in the nude, not my nude, but it's nude. I've always liked these type of color, like this type of color on, on, um, on my skin. So I don't mind um, what the color it is, but of course, Louboutin has a lot of like other, um, what do you call them? other uh, tones or their like other complexion for this or the nudes other nudes that's what i'm trying to say oh my god a little bit they have other nudes um for all types of different complexion even darker skin darker dark dark darker skin or lighter 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 is this a light as light as it goes no there's actually lighter skin i've seen so those shoes again are Pigal Foley's and they are red bottoms. They are brand new. I love the person that, like I like the person I purchased this from, and that was on Trade C. The seller I bought it from was from is you know the seller is in Trade C, and it was I was so happy to have gotten this pair. I have not worn them yet, obviously, but um, when I do. I cannot wait um, and I have the perfect bag for them I think I could wear them with my Louis Vuitton, I mean Louis Vuitton uh, bag or I could wear it with the Louis Vuitton uh, never full bag or my Givenchy bag Givenchy bag um, I could wear them with but I cannot wait look how gorgeous this is like like look and of course I'm gonna try each and every one of them on so you guys could see how they look um, and they are so beautiful and I these are comfortable just like um, the other Pigafolis on 100 millimeters they are comfortable they are a size 11 size 41 so size 11 um, and it fits perfectly perfectly and I don't plan to wear them often um, just because um, I, I don't I, I wouldn't wear nude often um, but what I know about patent leather is when you wear them every single day they, they tend to stretch over time and I experienced that with um, my Pagals 120 millimeters um, I experienced that just within a week and that's because I was blow drying it imagine I had to wear them every single day of course they would have stretched so 
with this I don't plan to wear it every single day but it was the best purchase of my life and I fell in love with them the minute I have them and um, would I get my money back and return them absolutely not now with that being said I don't have any um, plans to buy any more Christian Louis Vuitton uh, pair of shoes because um, I don't, like I like trying different brands and not just one particular brand um, mind you they are freaking popular and so so amazing I mean come on come on come on like what wait what tell me nothing I am bougie I am beautiful I am gorgeous <laughs> And that's how shoes make you feel. Heels make you feel like you're bougie, gorgeous, um, important. <laughs> what? Shoes make you feel that way? Girl, you're so materialistic. Um, but I love them so, so much and I will try them on. Um, and I just needed a couple of Louis Vuitton. Not a whole lot because there are other shoes you could try. Um, with, uh, and there, there's Jimmy, Jimmy Choo. There is... Um, What's the one Carrie Brenshaw wore for her wedding, um, big proposed to? Uh, uh, Manano, Manano, Manolos, Manolos Blanc, Manono, Manono Blahniks, Blahniks, yeah. <laughs> Whatever, man. Um, yes, I would like to explore different um, brands, but for now, um, I definitely love these Christian Louis Vuitton and when you wear these you definitely make a statement I mean the bottom already is a, is a statement and do I mind if the sole right here um, get messed up after you wear them the point of wearing the point of buying shoes where the especially expensive shoes is to wear them I'm not going to have them sit on my in my closet and not wear to go places the reason I haven't worn them because I bought them during the pandemic and no one go, went nowhere until just now they started like going places and stuff but before then we weren't going anywhere so I wasn't wearing them but the minute I start wearing them I don't care if the soles gets dirty or scratched that's the point of them as long as this part is still beautifully like stays beautiful like it doesn't you know it doesn't look too bad so yeah hmm best shoes on earth like let me by far <laughs> um there's jimmy choo there's prada there's uh Givenchy, um there's bottega veneta there's balenciaga there's all types of shoes and I, of course i want to buy a pair of those sandals balenciaga yeah ah. valentino valentino yeah but uh, thank you for watching um, and please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video.